Uh, Kara Swenson from Thistle Patch joining us now. And uh, Kara, you're here today to talk about, you know, just general herbs and how we can um, include them in our diet. You know, some like unknown facts really about this stuff that actually is really beneficial to our health. So um, let's jump right in. Okay. Well, the first one that I have here, most of you probably recognize, is garlic. Mm. Um, garlic is incredibly beneficial. It's one of those herbs that is also a food. Mm. So really one of the best ways that we can work with it is just adding it into how we're cooking. Sure. Um, and and it's really, more than just a cooking ingredient. It actually has yes. great benefits for you. Yeah, incredibly beneficial for the digestive system. So if you have any kind of like gut imbalances mm -hmm. going on, really helpful for that. Also respiratory, that's going around now too. Yeah. Mm. Um, so that's what we're looking at with garlic. Just overall really, really helpful. Um, for the body, you know, if you have mucus mm. and different things going on, garlic's mm. a good go-to. Mm. And another one that people are probably familiar with over here too. Yeah, thyme. Mm -hmm. So thyme is one I recommend, kind of like garlic. You know, it's an herb, but it's also um, this one's kind of, I guess, more like a spice, but a food. However you want to look at it. But this one is also really, really antimicrobial. Um, I look at this one if someone has a lot, like a lot of mucus going mm. on, or it's just congested in their face or their mm -hmm. sinuses, mm -hmm. um, or if they have this irritating cough going on and they're like, you know, there might be some mucus in there. Um, the way that I recommend to work with this one is to actually basically make a really strong cup of cup, <laughs> cup of tea. Sure. Um, and you're going to actually tent your head. Mm -hmm. So you can just take a normal dishcloth. You'll have this steaming because it's okay. just boiled water with thyme in there. Um, put it over your head and trap that steam so that you're breathing in oh. all of the benefit of the time. That's oh. a great idea. Wow. Have Kleenexes handy um, and just get all that mucus out. It just clears really you out. That is yeah. a great idea. Wow. Yeah. And it's you know different than you know so many um, products on the market that you don't really know like what you're taking. You know so right. this is a great way just like hey get some time. How much should you put in simple. there with your tea? I eyeball it, but okay. roughly I would say like a heaping teaspoon. Okay. So it is quite a bit, but sure. you're really looking to like smell it. So mm -hmm. breathe in through your nose and okay. get all of those antimicrobial properties and beneficial compounds just mm -hmm. touching the sinuses, touching the lungs. And then the next one is actually something that um, I use and yeah. I, like, I literally give to everybody in the station. Um, it's, uh, it's, can you explain it? Yeah, elderberry. So elderberry tincture is what I have here. Elderberry has become very well known in the last few years for good reason. It's an amino modulator actually, which basically just means it helps our immune system either kind of level up or calm down a little bit. Mm. So it's really great. I think it shines especially for preventing sicknesses. Um, so it's something you could take on the everyday basis. Just a little bit goes a long way. It's very potent, mm -hmm. uh, especially in tincture form, oh, and that's help you stay well and also heal faster too. If you were to get sick, you'll recover quicker. Yeah, so how can people get in contact with you about finding more about this? Yeah, so I have a website, it's thistlepatchwellness.com, um, so they can go there and all my contact information is easily found. All right, all right. well thank you so much for yes, joining us, and uh, after the break uh, we will have some more stuff. Stay with us.